it's that time again ah uh, it just seems like i'm doing nothing but unboxing at the minute but honestly it is um not going to be that case it just happens to be that it arrived yesterday yeah yesterday and we have our little helper again and which one do i have today we have the eating one the sweetie stealer that's who we have today the sweetie stealer gently get it we gotta turn it Oh, that's the sweetie gone did you see that 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 was yoinked at super super speed it was right there it's gone now bubble gone uh -oh. okay so it was i say was because it's now been munchy munchied bubbly blows bigger bubbles you're gonna have to practice your bubble blowing okay let's check out what we've got in the box i'm just gonna pull everything out I'll put the box over to the side. Give me that box. Thank you, young lady. Right, what have we got here? Let's. Oh, oh, oils. That's on you. I didn't think they did square. Oh, and oh, it looks like we've got a canvas. The artist is Bastien Marienne, aka Bab2. That's a cool name. At underscore Bab2 underscore, or Facebook is Bab2. Looks like the M1 is a zero and then a dot. Ooh, it's a palette knife card. A little sort of extra tool in there. That's cool. So it's heavy body acrylic. System three, heavy body acrylic. What colour is that, darling? Yellow. Lemon yellow, or as you like to say, a lemon. lemon. A process magenta. So we've got process magenta, a really, really pretty colour. So we've got our primaries, yeah and process blue so pretty much our primary colors here pro art series 60 prolon which looks like a number oh it's a number seven that looks small for a number seven but that's what it says nice and sharp pointy end so that looks like a nice brush what else have we got young lady put that back on oh i'm being told off now we have a faber castell 9000 my favorite graphite pencils and we have that in a 2b one of my most favorite used ones we got the sticker rooney that's cool that's a pretty sticker that's a nice one isn't it mm -hmm. scroller box edit whoops if you haven't already noticed i'm sure you soon will but the pencil we mentioned in all the printed elements of this box is not the pencil we have included Okay, so basically they swapped it to the 2B pencil. I don't know what we should have had. I'll check in the school of fine in a moment. Oh, no. no, that's cool. What's it's that? like a thick canvas board. No, it's like cardboard. It's like a thick type of white cardboard. Yeah, but it's got like a canvas coating. The sound test, ready? It's really, really thick. And there's four of those. Uh, three. Three, okay, so that's good. So we've got one each. Okay, so let's have a look. The strawberry ice cream muncher has come to say hello. Say hello. Hi. There we go. All three of us in the office today. Okay, so we've already got the the blah blah blah. We've already mentioned the Daily Rowney heavy body acrylic. So we've got our three main primaries. We've got cyan, magenta, and yellow. We've got the paintbrush. Um, we've got the art boards. So they're Ooh. art boards, perfect for all your painting and mixed media. So it should have been a Staedtler Mars Ergo Soft. 150 hp pencil so that's what should have been in there and the oh, prompt oh, oh, oh. facial topography what do you know what that means mm -mm. Uh -uh. i think we might have to google that for some inspiration because my mind has literally just gone blank so the basis of facial topography clinical anatomy of the face so that's essentially what it is why a lot of these are done in blocks because you can see the planes of the face it's so thick it literally sort of sticks out which is why you're able to produce all these textures so amelie's currently um coloring in her hand um but she's going to swatch these for me and she's used it on the board to see how they are i think you might have done it on the wrong side of the board but yeah. you know we like to do things a bit differently here don't we voice over me now and um, first thing i want to do is apologize for the lack of any sort of uh warranted um editing i suppose uh because it's just been a very busy day and i wanted to get this out ready for monday tomorrow so you guys can watch this because the scroller box did turn up on the weekend i thought it'd be nice to have it out on the monday for you 
so Emily quite happily tested the colors for me see how they blended and just had a muck about and she was enjoying herself so what more could you want the products that we're going to go and talk through which you've already seen um well wasn't that a learning curve and uh, i'm actually really pleased with the box and i thought when it was oils originally i thought oh god oh my god oh my god because i've never really used oils not since my old gcse days and then we're going back some and when Emily mentioned that they were heavy body, heavy body acrylic, I was getting really, really excited. And then the prompt. That had me stumped. And I had to think for a really long time about what I was going to do. And I sort of did a bit of a cop out, if I'm perfectly honest. So I thought, do you know what? I'm not even going to try and do a whole face. I'm not used to heavy body acrylics. I'm not used to not using a brush with acrylics. And I know I wanted to do something that i don't know it was a bit expressionistic i suppose the word is and i felt that the tools and the paints that we got in the scrawler box enabled me to do that so i had a bit of a go i did actually use the palette knife because i thought obviously amelie was using the card but she didn't actually use it in the end um and i was a bit disappointed that there wasn't a white in there i'd like to have had a white so i do bring some in later on apologies scrawler box but i wanted i don't know you'll see as we go through that uh i was very unsure about how it was going to finish and it just felt a bit muddy in places and i think some of that maybe was the scale one i'm not used to using the heavy body acrylic so i have a lot to learn but it was a great introduction Emily was having great fun doing her thing as always and she was making some little pumpkins there on her background that she did and she really enjoyed it so i sort of yeah did a cop out i thought do you know what? i'll just do some lips i'll i'll change it up a bit though and have the canvas a slightly different way around the canvas held up to the paint extremely well and then when we dried them with a hair dryer they didn't really curl or buckle which i know sounds more well, they wouldn't but actually some do um so it held up really really well to that and i loved the colors they were really really nice colors proper true uh, sort of primary colours so your magenta and your cyan not your red and your blue and it was fun to work with but it was really hard not to get it muddy and as I say I felt like it needed a pop of something so I did actually bring in the white and although it's not a heavy body it worked together quite well I think you would actually end up getting through quite a lot of this paint if you did a larger portrait um yeah as i say i have a lot to learn i am no expert but i did have fun with this box and it was nice to use something that i hadn't used before and the color options you know you did have the option to mix if you wanted to do something a bit more portraiture but um yeah i don't want to bite off more than i can chew and it can be a bit tricky actually when i have amelie with me because of time scales i tend not to have a lot of time to be able to think about what i'm doing before she's off and going on her art piece already so i thought i would keep it semi simple and just sort of have a bit of a play really it was difficult to stop it going muddy on occasion and i th think probably drying between layers a little bit more might have helped it was it was uh, yeah I, I don't even know how to describe stuff now i'm getting lost with my words but it was an experience to say the least but i did have fun and originally i was like oh my god this is terrible i'm gonna have to stop and start again and do something different but actually as i kept going because you know me i like to try and keep going to the end as a bit of a learning curve for me it may not be perfect but it is practice and progress and that's priority so yeah i kept going with it and i thought this isn't gonna come out very nice but actually by the end of it i was pretty pleased with how it came out for a medium that i haven't actually used before this is the white that i picked up i just got out my liquitex basics the pencil with a 2b pencil couldn't really say a lot about that but the canvas board was actually really really nice um and I might look at getting some of that for myself and Amelie as it was really nice to work with. The card, it's just a card. I've worked with textures like that before or palettes and things. So that was quite good. Um, the sweet, uh, I have no idea. She ran off in the end and uh, I don't know how long that lasted. Um, 
but overall yeah i was really really pleased with the box and really happy with the items that we got in there and it was nice to actually try something different and really sort of stretch myself and try and sort of do something maybe with a lot more texture rather than having it so smooth which is what i'm used to actually doing with most of my art so let me know what you think in the comments below if you've ever used heavy body and what you use it for do you do textured stuff like this or are you somebody who waters it down and uses it in a completely different way it'd be interesting to find out from you guys your processes and thoughts or if you have never tried them before whether you think you might have a go i wanted to do something with the background but i didn't want to spoil it and i actually thought i did so i think i've ruined it but you know again let me know let me know what you think i just wanted to do something maybe a bit art poppy funky um whatever reasoning i'm trying to come up with to make it out like it was an intentional mess so i had fun and that is what it is all about i was really happy as i say in the end with the outcome but let me know what you think guys if you did enjoy this video don't forget to hit the subscribe button and don't forget to hit the help bell button uh, to be notified for all i go live every wednesday so don't forget to come and join me then you're going to see the final image in a minute but have a good morning afternoon whichever it may be wherever you are watching stay safe and i shall see you in the next video bye guys